want to play some one-on-one? Yeah. All right. That's, oh, no. Oh, look what we got here. Trying to play some one-on-one with Camp Biscuit. Yeah, I'm going to let you take this one. All right. Okay. Uh, I got him, I guess. Check ball. Okay. If I win, I get your toothbrush. You can have it, but if I win, you have to get educated by Barney B. Well, whatever. I hope you know, I started on the freshman team five years in a row. Is that, is that even legal? Not all of us go to Harvard, all right? No, let's play. Come on. <laughs> Vicious dog over there. Who, me? some absolute value or something. I'm man of my word. Let's do it. I'm gonna learn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, kid. I'm gonna teach you what my students are learning, which is absolute value. I, I wrote this up for you. This is actually what we're doing in my classroom, so I'm gonna educate you, kid. All right. Absolute value is actually what that stands for is how many hops the number is from zero on a number line. So this, these bars right here represent absolute value. So what this means is it says negative three. So we're gonna go to this number line, which I already put there for you. So we're gonna go to negative three. How many hops is negative three away from zero? One, two, three. So the absolute value of negative three is three. Well, now let's look at the opposite side because you're thinking, okay, that must mean uh, if it's negative and it turns into a positive, maybe it's the opposite here and this positive would turn to negative. On the contrary, we start with three. How many hops from zero is three? One, two, three. So the absolute value of three is three. So basically, when you have absolute value, can it be a negative? No. How do you feel about this? Does this make sense? That that makes a lot of sense. It's actually really easy. <laughs> All right. So absolute value isn't that hard. Obviously, you can tell. But people forget it because they just don't see it. So uh, now that you know that it's the hops away from zero on a number line, or the distance from zero on a number line, here's another example. If I have negative 21 as an absolute value, what would that be? 21. You're correct. It's 21. Because that is, uh, negative 21 is 21 hops away from zero on a number line. Absolute value is a piece of cake, right? You just got educated, kid. Good job, man. Man, absolute value was easy, man. Uh, thanks for helping me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, can I spend the night for the next 29 nights? That'd be really cool, man. <laughs> no. No. Uh, if you want, go uh, like and subscribe on this channel. Uh, share with your friends. Uh, what else am I supposed to say? Oh, uh, if, if you come back here, you'll be a true map chief, right? Is that, is that good? All right, yeah. <laughs>